What's good, YouTube? It's Eli here. It is September 18th, 2014, and I have reached one year and five months on testosterone. Just a month away from one year and a half. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Um, as you can tell from my last video, I don't have any more facial hair because I shaved it off. Um, so, yeah. Um... What I've been up to in this last month has just been learning my new job and stuff like that. Um, actually, my birthday, I turned 25 about 10 days ago. So that was exciting. Had a little, um, hung out with my friends and stuff, had a little party and whatnot, and had a really good time. Um, I have definitely been thinking about, you know, it's been. 10 years since my mom has passed or that I was 15 years old um but I'm okay I'm good um I can't remember if in my last video I talked about being interested in studying Nichiren's Daishonin's Buddhism um in which case I have been I I'm a Buddhist I'm a Nichiren's Daishonin Buddhist um I've been studying or learning how to learning about Buddhism and stuff through Nichiren's teachings and stuff like that. So that's been really cool. Um, I've been meeting different kinds of people who are interested and who um, practice Buddhism and things like that. Um, it's been an interesting spiritual journey. Um, I feel uh, just because you know I was raised Catholic and then I stopped believing after my mom passed away and then I was like here and there about religion and stuff like that or whatever my cousin had told me about her practice and stuff like that and I went to a meeting just because I was curious and I really like what they were saying and what they believe um so I started chanting um and reading starting to read materials and stuff about Buddhism and what the practice is all about and all of these other things so that's been really cool um and that's not really trans related but it's kind of something that i've been dealing deal doing um since the summer in the middle of summer around there um just trying to figure out what my spirituality is or what my religious affiliations are or whatever just whatever um I actually just chanted um, a few minutes ago before I came out here to make this video. So, yes, um, on the topic of trans stuff, because this is my trans channel and stuff, um, I would say my changes um, continue to be gradual. Um, just more, more of the facial hairs coming in, starting to like starting to grow here um and then working its way up on my cheeks so that's really cool um i shaved a couple days ago and i have like kind of like this little i can feel some of the hairs growing back and if i look in the mirror i can see like these little black hairs um which is really cool i like it a lot um yeah um i did knock off a couple of years off my age just because I don't have it no more, but it's cool. It's going to grow back, and yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, but like I said, everything's been gradual and stuff like that. Um, nothing too noticeable. Um, I was scared at first to shave my facial hair because I thought my face would still kind of look feminine, and it doesn't, so... I'm glad I looked in the mirror and was like, oh shit, like, my face doesn't look like I thought it would look and I don't feel uncomfortable as I thought I would be, you know, because I really like my mustache, I like my facial hair and, you know, um, yeah, but I got rid of it for a little bit, um, but yeah, um, other things like trans related or just, um, identity related in a sense um for well, last saturday um my cousin threw a party for me and my other cousin 
because our birthdays are like two days apart so we had a little party and get together and in the beginning we had I had like my family members come over um, to wish my 14 year old cousin ber happy birthday and stuff like that and of course that the time that they were here from I felt uncomfortable and just like oh I don't want to be here but after they left I felt okay um, I did hear pronoun slip ups um, I think I believe I heard my birth name once or twice um, but um, I kind of just didn't let it bother me because they left and my friends were coming over to hang out and party with me and stuff and it was good I felt good um, got really drunk um, but I had a good time um, I had no worries um, the thing that I'm dealing with now or am um, experiencing now would be more of like my you know my religious affiliation things like that my spirituality and my sexuality um, I do identify as pansexual um, I am attracted to people and their personality and who they are I don't care about what genitalia that person has it's about the person um and so yeah that's cool um what i'm dealing with as far as that is um hearing what other people have to say because at my party someone i had invited a friend over in which case you know we were making out and whatever and people saw me and they up arose the question that you know why is Eli transitioning to male when he's with a man like how does that make sense like why wouldn't he just stay a she and be in a straight relationship um, and I didn't want to hear that but I did hear it on Saturday um, and my cousin did a really good job about explaining who I am and what it is I like and you know like how I see relationships or just like being with someone that is more than just you know physical attraction it's more deeper than that she did a really good job of explaining it um, when she told me, I was like, wow, you did amazing. And I'm glad like you were able to fully express like what the hell, you know, it was good. Um, I haven't seen those people yet who like asked those questions. I, there was one guy who was uncomfortable, but I, you know, it is what it is. I, I have fully accepted that the things that I do, how I express myself is completely different from anybody else any other guy and I know that I always get like stares or people are just confused or just like what the fuck like I blow their mind all the time but this is just who I am as an individual like you know um, I don't know it's something I'm dealing with um, and just being open more so being open about um, being or like not being in a relationship gay relationship but you know um, people knowing that you know my guy who likes other guys and they're okay with like me liking girls because then they're just like oh he's just a straight guy but I'm not so it's been interesting to kind of navigate that um, to go from identifying as lesbian to bisexual to pansexual which I still identify as pansexual but when people see me depending on who I'm with will determine what my sexuality is and since I have been um, with a guy uh, people see me as a gay man and that's something that's different for me um, and how people view me I mean I don't care but it's something that constantly goes through my head that you know like people see this and I wonder 
I am afraid some t a little bit of how people are gonna take it or you know treat me um just because like you know there's been a lot of change in society and like all these LGBTQ groups and acceptance and openness but there's still people out there who are assholes and stuff so I am like on my P's and Q's but um yeah it's whatever um but that's pretty much it I mean I've been working a lot I've been chanting um because I'm a Buddhist now I've been hanging out with my friends um, I'm seeing someone and, you know, living my life and stuff like that. Um, it's been good. It's been really good. I'm excited to reach my one year and six months next month. And, yeah, I'll be doing, like, a photo thing, collage thing, or maybe another voice video to see how much of my voice has changed from you know pre t to now which i know continues to drop um one thing one thing that i'll comment about um from my buddhist practice is that when we chant we chant from you know our heart and from you know our diaphragm because we want to reach our gohanzan which is our um our scroll will we chant to um and that's really, chanting has really helped me with my voice. Um, cause I never really did anything with my voice. I just talked and talked. And since chanting, like, I feel like I've been able to find a range to where my voice, you know, how low it can go and then how high it can go and where I want to stay, where it's not like either or. It's just, you know, neutral and it's good. Um, but it's really awesome. I like chanting because I can hear from the, from when I start to chanting to when I'm really, really getting into it towards the end of our chant, like, I can hear my voice just this strong, like, powerful, you know, voice that I didn't think I can make or anything like that, and it's really fucking awesome to be able to hear my voice and be like, yeah, that's my voice, like, I can take, I can, I have a voice that can carry out throughout the room and I can chant not loudly but with enough like conviction and just from my heart and just mm, I don't know but uh, that's it for now this video is kind of long and just really rambling about shit I've been doing but yeah I will catch you guys in October for my year and a half on tea I hope all is well and stuff um, but yeah I'll catch you guys later um, have a wonderful afternoon from wherever you are watching this, and I'm sending good vibes to all of you. See ya. Bye.